first thing you want to do to play the new character local or online co-op you're going to have the host open the game and then go to their friends list and click the invite anyone to play button which will then open the remote play tab so now that you're in the remote play tab you're going to see the link that you'll send to your friend to invite them to the game and you'll see your controls which you want to be blank because for this to work the host either has to use the keyboard or a playstation control connected through bluetooth and your friend will only be able to play with a controller as well and depending on which controller they have you might need to do some things in the settings if you if they've just got a xbox control it should work by default and when your friend is in you will see a controller icon next to them and then you're going to drag their control to player one and you're going to have them as player one depending on what control your friend might be using they may have to come into this controller settings and tick the controller either the playstation xbox is normally on default or the switch controller so once you have your friend as player one in the remote play you're going to have them go in and select the character and go in to the game and once they're in the game you're going to have them disconnect their controller and now this is where the host will press either the keyboard or playstation control that's connected through bluetooth it seems to work and you'll press one of the keys and it will disappear and reappear for a second so now you have your friends connect the controller back and make sure that they're back in the player one slot as well and you'll have them press a button and it will that will that message will disappear but now the person the host should be in control of one character and your friends the other so now that you can both play as individual characters kind of like a co-op you'll see that like the camera in big rooms can be a little tricky it will try follow both but then eventually some characters will go off screen and so it's better to try stick together i guess and you'll see that bombs are individual unlike when you're playing by yourself it will only be the person that presses the bomb key rather than both of the characters doing the bomb also it might not always work perfectly like the first time when connecting with friend and doing it so just a matter of just keep trying it and the the main thing is just doing that control thing having the your friend go in first and disconnect and then the host pressing on either the, the keyboard or the controller that they would be using and that's the key part to play around with and test and try and eventually you'll get it working and if there's any questions you can leave a comment and try answer it as best you can and good luck with it and now for the cheese portion of the video using the same method you could do the same thing solo if you have a controller and using your keyboard you can use the same method and you can separate the two and if you get the Nord Leaf you'll find that the other character will just sit in place permanently in Nord Leaf form and you can essentially play as one character instead of the two at the same time also getting the benefit of having the other one be able to draw kind of aggro from the monsters and using it if it, like sometimes in big rooms you might need to move the character to see what's happening a little bit some or you could get kind of orbitals on it so it'll do some damage while enemies run at it and so it's a fun little trick i guess using the same method but using it for solo purposes and perhaps helping to make the character a little easier the only difficult part is resetting until you do find the Nord Leaf
or you can you can always do it if you find the Nord Leaf at some point in the run as well. You don't have to do it right at the start. You should be able to do it at any point in the. But yeah, I thought it would just be a interesting to let people know as well if they happen to look at it for looking for ways to possibly beat this character on all the harder difficulties and harder bosses and all that stuff. Good luck with that too. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave in the comments and try to answer them as best as you can as well with that part of it as well.